I was surprised that we would, were on this together. Like, mm -hmm. I know why I was here, but I was um, wondering why Kendall was on here with me. I know that, um, I don't know if Kendall's ever like been in love. And I think talking about if she's actually in a position um, for getting married um, and open to falling in love and like thinks she could fall in love. And like, I mean, you've been very clear and direct in that, mm -hmm. that you're here to find a wife and get married at the end of this. And you feel like there's... Kendall wouldn't be emotionally ready. Yeah, I guess I am saying that. How'd your, how'd your talk go? It went really well. That's good. Do you feel like there's some things that you wish you could have expressed more, or do you feel like you kind of just like laid it all out there? Laid it out there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. I know this is like a stressful situation, stressful day. You know, I initially came into it being stressed out, but I guess after being here, I don't feel as stressed out as I expected. Yeah? Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. I like that. So I just had my chat with Crystal. How do you feel after it? I just, she brought something up. She said, you know, I don't think Kendall is ready for marriage and I don't even know why she's here. Mm -hmm. I mean, being ready for marriage, I know it's a hard question to answer, you know? And if you haven't felt that deep love, it would be hard for you to really sort of put into focus, like if that's something that you could be ready for. You I know? don't think it's about being, having a time when you're ready for love or not. I don't believe there's a specific timeline that says, oh, at this point I'm ready for, for love, I'm ready for marriage. It's more so finding somebody that brings it out in you. Like I want to find somebody that I can see marriage in. And I yeah. want to say, I can see marriage in you. I can see love forever with you. And that's what makes that more impactful to me. It's hard for me to be as confident with Ari's my connection right now. And I don't really know where I stand right now. There's like a seed of doubt that's been planted. <laughs> it's pretty cruel what Crystal said. It hurts that she felt like she had to tell Ari that negative stuff about me. She's made it a pattern to say things that are cruel to people when she feels like she's backed in a corner and she tries to win. It's about winning for Crystal. I mean, I think that was obvious with the bowling date and it's obvious now. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm really well. How are you? Um, I feel like ours and my conversation went really well. Um, one thing that Ari did express to me is that um, you did say you felt like you didn't know why I was here and that I wasn't ready to find love or for marriage at all. Yeah. In what way do you feel like I'm not ready? Well, I don't know, I just... I guess you don't know. That's the thing, yeah. like, you don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's what made it so hurtful to me is because you don't know. And you acted as if you did know. But I know when it comes to situations where you feel like you're cornered, saying something like that does help you in some sense. What, why are you here? I'm here because like, I want to feel... I, I want to feel that love. I feel like mm -hmm. I am so comfortable in who I am. And I feel like I can give so much of myself to somebody. And um, that's why I'm here. I've dated someone like you before, where in the face of conflict, um, they have told me things that have like really hurt me. Um, and, um, you know, I, I guess I learned that saying the thing that's most hurtful doesn't necessarily means, mean you win. It, it means that you hurt somebody. And um, I can definitely empathize with you. Um, I feel like you have so much beauty in you. Like, I 100% see that. You've been through a lot. <laughs> You've been through so much. You've been through a lot of pain, like more pain than I can even understand. And um, it feels very controlled. I don't think you should try to control it. I think you should mm -hmm. just, man, I feel like the most beautiful moments I've ever had with somebody and the most I've been able to connect with somebody is when I've like completely felt like I acted like a fool or acted like somebody that, wasn't, you know, perfect. Man, you're imperfect. And isn't that like amazing? I don't, I don't really have words. <sighs> I 
I do want to say, like, talk about earlier. Mm -hmm. um, our discussion. Yeah. I felt that, how do I say this? Like, it was just so apparent to me that like, we just don't know each other because we actually have like a lot of similar beliefs. Mm. And it was just unfortunate that we didn't get the time to connect in that way. I feel like we may have similar beliefs, but um, we present them in a very different way. You know, I, I just want to say that I listened to what you said. Mm -hmm. It did come across as a little patronizing. Like, I don't need, like, or really, like, want, like, your advice on how I should live my life. I have a lot of emotions, and I feel, yeah. and you just don't see that. When I see mm -hmm. that maybe you have trouble connecting with people, I guess... I don't have trouble connecting with people. I guess maybe just people in this experience. I don't have trouble connecting with people. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm just basing it off of what I've seen. Because this is kind of... <laughs> The last night for one of us, so I would just love to focus more so on our individual connections with Ari mm -hmm. as opposed to, you know, each other's relationship because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, that's what really matters. Perfect. Yeah. Crystal lives in a delusion. I just absolutely 100% didn't agree with anything that she said. She says a lot of things to hurt people and she tried to say a lot of things to hurt me today. But at the same time, I'm not really focused on Crystal's and my relationship. That, you know, that's whatever. I was more so focused on Ari's and my relationship. 